Hello everybody and welcome to your reading. So today I channeled a song. It's been covered by a few people. Um, but it's just one look. And I fell so hard in love with you. But it's called Just One Look. And I found it to be covered by Dolores Troy in 1966 and Linda Ronstadt later on. And I think there might be a reggae version. I don't know. I didn't get to... Um, I'll put them in the links anyway in the description box. I'll put the links down below. So before we get into all that, I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. Thank you for being here and thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you. The divine values you. And thank you so, so, so much for being here and hanging out with me. I really, truly appreciate it because... A lot of you will hang out with me even if the reading doesn't resonate. Some of you just put me on to go to sleep, put me on go to work, put me on clean house. And I really, I truly, truly appreciate it. That is faithful support and I truly appreciate it. And that's why I want to be faithful to you and always provide you a reading every single day. Okay? No matter what. I don't care how I feel. I don't care if I feel sick. I don't care if I have... If, if I'm able to get these arms to move, I'm making you a video. All right? So, anyways, that's the song channeled. Um, you know, I did a pre-shuffle, and I got from this deck, I had got the Devil, and I had got the Seven of Wands, and then I had got the Three of Pentacles, and I feel like someone is resisting something very temptation, you know, resisting temptation, all right? Um, possibly because it's a colleague, an associate, someone you work with or collaborate with, and it's just sort of like some strong feelings. And I got the Queen of Swords, and then I got the Queen of Cups. And so I feel like somebody has some strong emotions, but they know that there's another person involved, okay? Um, or that there would have to be like a breakup with another person before it could ever happen. But it's a very, like, someone is just head over heels here. All right. So I'm just going to pray that um, we have, I'm going to pray that, you know, say thanks, gratitude, and pray that we just are guided, okay? Um, guided to do the right thing. All right. Because I can tell this is very strong and it's very tempting. All right. Our Father in heaven. Thank you so much for all the many blessings you've given to us, the small ones, the large ones, and all the ones in between. Thank you so much for that. Please continue to protect us and keep us safe on our journey. Keep us illuminated. Keep us, just keep us safe. I'm also going to ask that whatever I'm channeling for this, um, this connection of somebody falling so hard in love, that if it's meant to be, that it comes to fruition, that all obstacles be removed. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So I was only really guided to use lovers, oracles, and um, the wisdom of the oracle. So we're going to start off with that. I'm going to continue to close out with my enchanted map. I have the light seers for the tarot. And I have another deck that I'm going to be using as... The clarifying deck. I'm not sure the name here. It's called. I'm not sure. I can't find the box. I found another box. So, anyway, it's uh, it's just a little clarifying deck I'm going to use. So, show me what I need to see here for the oracle part of the reading for Aquarius. <clears throat> you can flip the rolls, switch them. This is the energy. I'm reading energy. Okay. If it if it doesn't feel like you're reading, if it um, doesn't resonate, don't. Don't claim it. Don't think that this is going to happen in your future. Don't create something that doesn't exist, okay? This is just really entertainment. You know, take the good stuff, leave the bad stuff. If the bad stuff ever happens, then you deal with it when it happens. But don't create it. All right. Aquarius. I felt something want to flip. Round and round. Breathe. Okay, those fell out, so I imagine. We have on the bottom of the deck, time to go. So I don't know where this is headed, but we have round and round. Let me, I want to get more cards out. That was, and breathe. These are the two main cards here. 
Okay, exchanging gifts, observer, deep knowing, and all that glitters. So this is, um, and I have a spider here dropping down to my table, a little tiny spider right there. I don't know if you can see it. I will point it out right here. So I imagine this is a very, I'm going to get some spiritual messages here. There's a little tiny, tiny spider. When spiders show up on my table, I always get something spiritual that comes out. This might be a spiritual union, all right? I immediately um, felt with this exchanging gifts card, I heard, um, you know, like a holiday party or a winter party because, um, you know, this time of year, there's a lot of parties that happen. And, you know, there's a star, someone holding a star that could literally be you, Aquarius, okay? And then there is a, a cat. Now, for me, cats are always, you know, beautiful people. Someone could be born near the cat as well. Um, but I felt, I feel that there's, there was a spark, okay? There was a spark at some sort of gathering, and I did get the Three of Pentacles and the pre-shuffle, so there might have been some sort of spark between you and another person at a place or a gathering, okay, where there's other people. Um, like I said, literally could have been a workplace, um, a party, um, a colleague, an associate, even school, but something. It's like just one look, and I knew. And we have a deep knowing here and round and round. And this might literally be someone you've had a past life with. Like I said, we'll know more as the tarot comes out. But I feel that it's a spiritual connection. Um, highly spiritual just because the spider is here. And all that glitters in the observer. And I do feel that whoever I'm speaking to is very spiritual. Okay? Very spiritual. And pays attention to all the signs and all the synchronicities. And has become... Um, quite good at seeing beyond illusions, okay? I feel that if this, uh, if this connection, all right, that you have with someone, because um, it really seems platonic just because of the pre-shuffle of what I pulled out, the devil and the seven of wands, and that's literally resisting temptation. And resisting temptation at the three of pentacles. That Three of Pentacles is a community, okay, whether it's a work community, a school community, an, an apartment, or a, a, a gated community, or whatever, a small community, it's a community, okay, and it's, and it's getting along in that community, so it's, it's something there, like that's where, that's where you would have met the person, okay, and I also got the Eight of Pentacles, so strongly about work, but it could be any community or anywhere you put a lot of your focus at, okay, and it's just like, I feel like, you know, this is one of those things where when you meet somebody, you just know, you just know, you don't know how you know, you just know. You have a deep knowing, and my phone just went off. You know, you know you've met them before, you know that you could love them, you know that that's the kind of person you could be with, you just know. But maybe, you know, there was another person involved, maybe they were with someone else, um, if it was like one of those holiday parties or whatever, and you were observing and you could have observed, or if you were with someone, they could have observed that the one you're with is not your one. You know what I mean? Like someone here made some sort of observation that they're like, I know that's my person. They're not supposed to be with that person. That's my person. That's what I'm feeling, so I have to say it. So let's ask the romance angels. What do you want to show Aquarius? And with the round and round card for me... I often take it as you repeat lives together. That's how I take that card. Um, maybe, and like this, you know, this breathe card, this is like meditation, spiritual practices. So that's why I feel like, and with the spider here, I definitely feel like I'm connecting with um, very uh, spiritual Aquariuses who have sort of like these spiritual practices or routines or just highly or spiritual meditate 
get into an altered state of mind where they receive messages. You know, there's all sorts of ways to be spiritual. Show me what I need to see for Aquarius. Hmm. Let your friends help you. I feel like you could meet this person through a friend or, like I said, through a party where you're at some place you go or through a community here. And it's like, I just really get the, the vibes of like being in some sort of community, community center, uh, holiday party, an invite or gathering, and there's like, There's an angel holding a crystal ball, which I never really paid much attention to before. There's sort of a religious statue in the background. And there's this person. And then there's, you know, there's two, there's two, there's actually three people. So I really feel that someone here is the one that's sort of love struck. And either others see it, or you have met this person through others. And we have retreat on the bottom. And it's time to disconnect from the world. And I believe when you're in that altered state of mind, sort of that um, daydreaming type of, you know, state of mind, I feel that you both daydream about each other. And when we have here next to that would be soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, and that would be that round and round card. So I feel that you have met or will meet somebody very soon at some sort of gathering. Let's pull another card from another deck here. Let's get into the Lover's Oracle. Definitely strong indication. Yeah, we got embraced. That came out right away. Strong indication that past life with you and this person. And you just know. You just know. You just know. They don't have to be with someone else. But there is something with all that glitters. There is something to see beyond an illusion. By being the observer. So someone observes something. And it also could be this friends. Like if... Someone's, if you have a friend and someone says, oh, you got feelings for them. And you're like, no, no, no. They're just, they're just, we work together. I don't have no feelings. It could be that as well. Like if you're trying to hide your feelings or if the person who, you know, you connected with is trying to hide their feelings, that could also be someone seeing beyond that being the observer here. Whoever the observer is, is the one who sees beyond the, the illusion What came out from the Lover's Oracle is embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces, and that's what this round and round is. You have life cycles together. Life cycles. And there's a lot of importance about being in the moment, practicing presence, especially with the observer and with the breathe card. Meditation is a great way to do that. Just one look. That's all it took. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Now, I did pull the Queen of Swords out in a pre-shuffle. That Queen of Swords could have been someone that's already been cut out of your life or their life or about to be. Let's get into the tarot. Let's see what it wants to show us. Show me what I need to see for Aquarius. Show me what I need to see for this reading here. Either way, it can go either way. If you were drawn to this reading and you're watching it, there might be something here for you. Even if you're not an Aquarius, okay? This could be how an Aquarius feels towards you as well. Basic issue... Mm -hmm. um, we have now the Eight of Cups in reverse, and we have a Divine Masculine um, Emperor Aries, and then we also have King of Wands, Leo, but it could also be Aries or Sagittarius, but 
I'm getting a couple of messages with that. This could be somebody that, let's just say if you're dealing with a divine counterpart, um, and this is like on the bottom of the deck, the seven of swords, the lovers reverse, and then justice upright, and the hero font reverse. This would be like if you met somebody or they met you and you both knew that you were each other's person, but was with other people, at least one of you. This would also be somebody returning because they're like, they just knew. You know, I just knew that was my person. And I always have to refer to uh, Johnny Cash, soul singer, and June Carter. They were both with other people. And they ended, they just knew, like they knew. And they met at work. They met through the industry, the music industry. So I feel that if this is a person you met at work or have a strong connection with, and you just know that that was your person, even though you could have been with another one or they could have been with another one, it was like you just knew that it wasn't going to last, you know, and that's with this here font in reverse. And then again, I have the devil. So, you know, this here, right, but I, the bottom of the deck is just telling the whole story here. Six of Cups is such a strong connection, even telepathic with you and this person. And there's a lot of chemistry here, very, very much so. I will pull my clarifying cards, though. Now, the other message is... You could have met them through a boss, all right? The emperor can be a boss. And um, this king of wands was just like, I'm going for it. You know, I'm going for it. Um, so I don't know. I feel it's more the first, the first story, honestly. Because the first card out is a return. It's an Eight of Cups in reverse. So I feel more strongly it's the first story about meeting the one, possibly being with someone else. But you could have met them. Either way, the Emperor is at work. The Emperor is the boss, okay? The one in charge. And so is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is also um, an authoritative figure. This could even, you know be resisting the person because literally falling in love with the boss as well and it would be like well if i fall in love with him and it doesn't work out you know where does that leave me where does it leave my job where does it you know or if i fall in love with you know the property manager the landlord or whatever the person in charge and it doesn't work out what is what does it leave me okay that's not for everyone but it's just out there and whoever it is, there's a lot of thinking and overthinking. Nine of Swords. Somebody's staying up. Someone is the other person's first and last thought. Some I just heard embracing pillows. Someone could literally, you know, those body pillows or those large pillows. Someone could li be literally embracing a pillow, imagining it's you or vice versa, hugging the pillow. Um... Another image I got is like, let's say this person and you were at, you know, let's just say an event, okay, and, you know, someone just sort of like leaned in and gave like, um, you know, uh, like a, 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 a hug or, you know, how they do the, the side cheek kiss, you know, what they call the Italian kiss, you kiss on each side of the cheek. And somebody sort of left, like, they had some really good smelling um, cologne or perfume. This could be that person also just, like, smelling their clothes because it was good quality and it stayed on the clothes. Because that came to me, never comes to me with this card. But it's like, whoever it is, they fall so hard and they just want to soak up that energy, the smell of the person, the feel of the person. Like, they just know that that's their person. There's so, there's so much memory with this person because it's a past life so that means there's going to be there's going to be um past life memory cell memory with this person through sight touch smell you know there's going to be that i'm drawn to the bottles up top too so maybe even like if you guys were to have wine you might even 
a particular type of wine or something like that. A lot of things come to me. I'm, it doesn't never, usually come to me with that card. But someone is like, I just know. I just know. There's some, so much familiar, familiarity about this person. And I know I get tripped up with my words. I don't need Mercury Retrograde for that. I just do it. Show me the Emperor card. Yes, King of Swords, Aquarius. Embrace. I, I just, what did I just say? This landed on embrace, and this, I've got the feeling of someone sort of smelling clothes. Literally, someone could have hugged or embraced or whatever. And it's triggered a past life memory here. It could very much have you thinking, Aquarius, you know, thinking, trying to focus on your life, but thinking. You see how this person is just thinking? They're trying to, they've opened a letter, or they're trying to focus on work, or they're trying to focus, but they're thinking about an embrace, possibly. It's consuming the thoughts here, and it could be consuming your thoughts. Tell me about the King of Wands. High Priestess is in reverse on the bottom. It landed over here on this basic issue. Ten of Cups reverse. Why is that Ten of Cups reverse though is what I want to know. I'm going to use another little deck here. It might be like what I said, afraid to... Uh, go all the way with the person because literally if it doesn't work out where would that lead you but ten of cups reverse sometimes this person is also that it would also be a person that's like in a relationship already but may explore other relationships outside of the main relationship and so somebody here could be you, Aquarius, thinking, well, I'll never have my Ten of Cups with this person. You know, I'm only going to get to be like a side person. I'm not going to get to be the main person or the, the only, I should say, only person. But everybody has different concepts and beliefs when it comes to relationships these days. It's not so easy, cut and dry like it you know, sort of used to be. Before, it's like you're either exclusive or you're not. You know, we're dating or we're, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend. You got all kind of things here, especially in America. But there's something about that Ten of Cups reverse. What is it? Someone I feel feels they can't be completely happy with this person because of another situation, possibly another relationship. I feel they don't want to be an external type of relationship or to be like a cheater. Five of Wands, yes. Five of Wands is clarifying it. So you may recognize this person as having a lot of people around them. All right. And then we have the world. And the Queen of Wands is now in reverse. So it's like for you, even though, or for this other person, even though there's a lot of love, it'd be like, I'd have to know. That there's no one else. I'd have to know that I'm the only one. I'd have to know. Um, and if they were in a relationship. That they've gotten rid of that. Uh, third party. Because Queen of Wands can be the other person. The third party. The karmic. So there's that. Alright. Let's move on. What's the root? What's the root? Mm, I heard decisions with this and three of pentacles and next to the three of pentacles. Wow. Now we have the empress. I have to get into this. The root of the problem is this. A lot of tough thinking decisions here. And when I did the pre-shuffle, I did get from the enchanted map. I got make a path. I got the path, which is about making a decision, a choice. Now the bottom of the deck is like, 
you know, do I make a move? Do I say something, right? Because there's been no word spoken about this feeling, but this connection is 100% here. And for some of you, you've met your divine counterpart, or it feels very much like it. Either way, you've lived past lives together. It doesn't matter if it's your twin flame or not. You have such a connection. You've had other lives with this person, okay? And it's going to have the same sort of feeling as that twin flame connection, if you even know what that is. But it doesn't matter. It's not about any of that. It's about someone that is so strong in your head or you're so strong in someone's head and it's like someone's saying, I haven't said anything, but I feel so at home with them. This is at home. I feel like I can be myself. I feel free. Um, but no move, no movement here. It's just thinking about it, pondering. I heard pondering. And then we have, you know, the Empress. The... Um, you know, starting a new beginning here, sowing some seeds, is it even the right time to speak up? Because this Three of Pentacles keeps coming up so strongly. It's a, it's a person in your environment that you work or come to gatherings with, and it could definitely affect your life, especially if it doesn't work out or vice versa. Okay, vice versa. It's a tough decision, but it's a deep knowing because you know this is your person you know or they know somebody knows it's like i know this is my person i know it this is the person i can marry this is the kind of person i see myself with someone has fallen pretty pretty hard here pretty pretty hard so hard that there's just no no one else in sight Give me a card for this Five of Swords, please. Land it over here. On the past is now behind you. Release it, embrace it for new possibilities. Two of Wands. Follow it with faith. This is also like... If you think, or if they think something may work out the way it worked out in the past, this would be like having baggage. Somebody in this energy circle here has baggage. And they're like, I don't know. What if it ends up the way it ended up in the past for me? You know, what if it goes down like this again? So there's a lot of confliction with someone's thoughts. Internal confliction. That card can mean that. What's the past anyway? Let's see the past energy. What's the past? A little blockage there. Okay. A little bit of blockage I felt. Show me the past. Keeps landing on this other card. Seems like the past is you guys have worked together and something could have been felt or, or started, okay? Something was felt, okay? This Three of Pentacles keeps coming up, so it's so, so, so significant. There was a spark of something, either in the past when you worked together or you guys are in each other's community in some sort of way. It's a place where you are part of teamwork and collaborating. Give me a card for the past. Clarify the past. And it landed on embrace. So I feel that you guys had some sort of connection in the past. And there's been a resisting of temptation. Like someone's resisting. Seven of chalices. Yeah. You know, in the past, we have the Seven of Cups describing this Three of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. In the past was also about a choice. You know, should I start something new up? There's a Three of Pentacles. This is, you know, where I work. Could I, you know, lose my income? Okay. Could... um you know, plus there could is a third party possibly 
So someone was really stuck in the past, but felt such a connection and felt really hard. And remember, it came out here that there was no, it was on the bottom of the deck, there's been no expression of this, there's been no conversation or talk about this. It's just a feeling, and it's strong, it's consuming. Tell me about the crown, what crowns this? What crowns this? What crowns this? Oh my gosh, that's 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 a lot. Why? This is so many cards, Aquarius. I don't know. The past, somebody was literally thinking about letting go of another person. This is my person. I'm going to let go of this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn doesn't have to be, but this is saying... The person I'm with, because the Queen of Pentacles can be someone you're with, living with, uh, someone who's been stable in your life, but it's saying, I know this isn't my person, but it could also, the goal was, this is the goal now. It's telling a whole story here. The goal is to be with the counterpart. The goal is to be with the person they've there have been many past lives with. The goal is the empress and the emperor to be together. That's the goal. But definitely somebody has to be out. And what is hard for someone to think of here is the other person they're going to hurt. So basically, how do I be with my person without hurting another person? But the goal is to reach out and say something here. Anyway, because the desire and the feelings are too strong. So this might be here in the near future with the chariot. The goal is to reach out soon. The chariot is cancer energy, but it's major arcana, and it's the fastest card in the deck. Ten of swords, ace of wands. So for this new beginning to happen... Whoever's thinking this, they, are, they obviously know someone's going to get betrayed. Someone's going to get left behind. The person that gets left behind is going to feel like they've been betrayed. But like I said, the feelings are too strong. Page of Pentacles, I must reach out and say that. I know that this is my person, okay? But someone will be betrayed or feel betrayed. They'll feel betrayed. When this new beginning happens and when somebody expresses that they no longer want to be with that person because they want to be with another person. And four of wands reverse, four of cups reverse. Literally, somebody leaves somebody, moves out of a house from somebody to be with another person. I'm not going to ask for a lot for clarification. So many cards came out right there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like a whole... Celtic cross came out right there for the goal, but that's the goal. This is let your friends help you, the high priest. This is the hierophant and the ace of pentacles in reverse. The hierophant card, the high priest card in this deck is also a little bit, reminds me of three of pentacles because it's, um, you know, the... It can be a place of learning and gathering as well. If you're going to a place, um, it can be a spiritual connection. But it's the Ace of Pentacles reverse. So somebody is going, but in this case, someone's fallen so hard for the other person. It's going to lead to marriage if the other person wants it. It's going to lead to a long-term commitment. But it, it's like if the other person wants it. You know, this is the Ace of Pentacles. It's the beginning that leads to the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, all of that stuff, the Emperor. So it's going to come down to a the decision. The bottom line is it comes down to a choice. But there's a new beginning here to be had if somebody wants it. Somebody is going to come forward and express how they feel. But they didn't want to hurt another person or you didn't want to hurt another person. Something to do with that. What's the future? Knight of Swords in the reverse. That'd be the near future. 
It's the Knight of Swords reversed because of the Knight of Wands reversed. Someone is resisting because somebody doesn't want to be a cheater. In this case, someone's holding back. Somebody doesn't want to be the third wheel. Somebody doesn't want to be a cheater. So they're holding back. But it's a very strong connection here. Give me a card for that. Future. Well, on the bottom we have the Lady and the Lord. That's the lovers. Like I'm telling you, this is a very strong connection. It's going to be hard for probably both of you to resist. Again, Three of Cups reverse. So literally a third person has to be out. And Three of Swords. So the, the future is, before this can happen, there's going to have to be a conversation. And the conversation is going to be something like this. Do you feel this with me? I feel this with you. Do you want this? Do you want to do this? And it's going to come down to yes or no. If yes, the person is willing to leave a third person, place, or thing, a situation, then this has <clears throat> the Ace of Pentacles will turn upright. It's going to be a, a very spiritual connection because the spider was here as well. But if someone doesn't want to leave a person, place, or thing, then this connection will never happen. But it's saying over here, the past is behind you. So whatever has went on in your life or their life, it's just not going to get any better. It's the past for a reason, or it should be in the past if it's not. But the other aspect of this is, if you or them let go of another person, place, or thing, it's going to cause heartache to that. Most likely it's a person that somebody was living with. And that's the decision here. Two of Swords. Two of Swords. What's the self position, please? What's the self position? Want to come out? Okay. Watching. A lot of spying here. Page of Swords. A lot of watching. You could be watching them. They could be watching you. But what I see on the bottom of the deck is a return. So I think someone's watching you. I see a return. See, I see the page of wands going toward Aquarius because they come out of hermit mode, which is Virgo energy, but they come out of solitude or they come out of being thinking about this. And they've been thinking about returning, Five of Pentacles reverse. So I do see someone coming toward Aquarius now. So before I didn't, I wasn't really sure if it was you or them, but I do at this point, someone is doing a lot of watching, however they can. And they're really thinking hard about returning because I have an eight of cups reverse and a five of pentacles reverse. Could be a Virgo with that hermit card, but it's reaching out. And there is Aquarius with that King of Swords. Give me a card here for that. That's this person thinking. It landed on the thinking card, yes. The crane. Like I said, someone could be very, you know, handsome, good looking. Maybe there was a person that had options, okay. Um, maybe someone's hooked up on an age difference because I see like an age difference here. But whatever it is, somebody ultimately is like, I, these feelings are just too strong. Like, I can't shake the feelings. I can't shake the person. I can't shake this. Like, I just knew. And I feel so hard. What's the environment? They're not doing very well, or you're not doing very well. But I feel now that I know someone's coming toward you, that it's, that it's them. If someone, again, we have, this is... Sagittarius energy and it's also um, the magician reverse now if somebody follows astrology you know because like I said this is a person who has some sort of spiritual practices in their life or you do you both do I would imagine you you guys are familiar to each other but this could be somebody saying I'm not going to return in a mercury retrograde as well okay so I'm just going to put that out there because um Mercury retrograde happened, it started in Sagittarius season, and they may not return until it's over, okay? That was the first thing that came to my mind. But it is Sagittarius reverse, it is Gemini, 
and um, Virgo reverse so literally could be those signs but I would take it more as somebody's not going to return during a Mercury retrograde because that was the first thing came out of my head so I just have to say it they're not going to bring communication somebody knows now is not the time to communicate for whatever reason even if they don't practice that they just know they would instinctively know yeah now the page of swords another thing is because of um, like if this is a person who is going to be shattered by rejection right like if this person really has their hopes high and this person really wants this with you another thing is they could be rejecting it because they're not ready for the truth they're not ready to know that page of, of swords is just like this page of swords reverse this is watching in the reverse but in the upright it's like finding out the information but temperance in reverse and the magician reverse can be like saying I don't know if I'm ready to find out about like if they don't want me I don't know if I'm ready to be rejected I don't know if I'm ready to know exactly where Aquarius stands with me so there's that what's the hope and the fear she's a lot of love here Scorpio energy but so much love this landed over here nine of ones in the hero font this person has this person has thought so hard that they know that this is a higher level connection they know this is a spiritual connection they want to give it another shot but in the past they 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 were willing to cheat or you were somebody was that's how strong the connection is like I feel like I feel like I'm not picking up on cheater energy I just feel like the connection was so strong that it could have been a possibility like it came across someone's mind like I know there's a relationship and I know that I don't like to do this but I can't resist this person and it's that but it's also like because it went to the past is like saying I know this is my person and I'm willing to try again but it does seem like there's someone else in the middle five of swords this five of swords is two people there's a peacock in the background so I do feel someone's very good looking as I pick the peacock and the lion so I feel someone's very very uh, beautiful or handsome maybe you both are but I do feel there's an age difference and five of one five of swords reverse someone may come around to make peace someone is knows it's um, no matter what like either way the feeling is so strong the urge is so strong the knowing is so deep it's someone if you haven't seen them it's like I want I you know somebody wants to come out of seclusion or you know maybe you know they're not secluded from everyone else but you haven't seen them or vice versa you haven't seen each other So it's like a truce almost for me not that you were fighting but it's just like I feel somebody had a lot of thoughts in their head and before they could literally come through number one they had to organize their thoughts number two they had to think about the consequences that would happen if you two do consummate this what are the consequences someone else is going to be hurt this person doesn't want to do that um, consequences are yeah you guys could be together what happens if it doesn't work out you know this person's thinking of the future or you are someone is thinking but like I said in the self position I for the first time I saw someone coming toward Aquarius reaching out so there's something about that there this person's thinking about the consequences of being with you what are the consequences we have an age difference how are people going to take that what are the consequences that you know them or me have to tell the other person that um, it's over what are the consequences if we stay in a connection and we still have a relationship on the side like this person is thinking of the consequences of being in this connection with you but they also cannot resist it 
what's the outcome looking like here? And that landed on ask friends, ask your friends for help. They might come through as needing help as a friend. Can you help me, Aquarius? Ace of Cups. The bottom line is there's love here. And the Six of Pentacles is in the reverse. Now, for me, when Six of Pentacles is in reverse, it's there's three people go to two people because Six of Pentacles in the upright is always three people. You have one chooser and you have two beggars. And only one of those beggars get chose. So when it's in the reverse, it's saying to me there's no more third party. There's no more choosing where energy goes to like there's no more there's not a choice between do i give my love here do i give my love there do i give my money here do i give my money there it's there's no more it's reverse it's reverse so there's no more of cho you know choosing who to give to but the bottom line is there's love and there's a lot of love it's a soul connection that is an ace of cups wow and let your friends help you so this might be you know, a younger soul or appear to be a younger soul in some way. Like I said, I picked up on an age difference, but there's still your match and you're still on the same energetic level because I have the emperor and the empress. So they may come around to be like, can you help me on this project? Or maybe if they have a business or something like that, they could come around and be like, you know, could you help me with this? Could we collaborate on that? Or vice versa. But like now, I think it's this person coming to you because I did see that in the self. Give me some cards to clarify that. Ace of Cups and Knight of Cups. The High Priestess, they know. See, that this person just knows. They know it. This is Virgo... Pisces energy and this person knows it they know it they're thinking about all the consequences of you two being together or all the possible I shouldn't say consequences I should say possibilities they're thinking of all the possibilities of being with you they know your their person but there are challenges here there are challenges that are external you know the challenge could be age the challenge could be there's another person involved the challenge could be um, anything else I mentioned because when spirit talks to me I just I release the I give the message that I usually forget it so anyway advice we're closing out there's love here love conquers all just one look this person knew it back then they know it now and they still can't stop thinking about you so there's going to be movement toward you there's going to be a conversation and possibly they might want to go out talk with you they might want to ask for your help open the door that way be friends or something but they can't be out of your energy they know that what's the advice what's the advice what's the advice for Aquarius That's too much advice. But I do have metamorphosis, spirit of place, and I'm just going to tell you what I see from this visually. Things are going to transform between you because it's a deep knowing. Spirit of place. Their spirit belongs to you. Your spirit belongs to them. It's four, emperor number. 25, which is seven, chariot. Okay, fast movement. We have Flying High and Magical Shapeshifter, and it's also uh, 52, which is 7, and 2, which is Flying High. So I can tell you just visually what I get from that. This person knows they belong with you. They want to transform things with you, but they're not in a good place because they're not able to come forward to you. Now, please give me one card for the advice. Talisman. All right. Thank you. Oh, two cards 37 and 49 cleaning house and talisman cleaning house can be also it can be literal but it can literally just be cleaning up one's life um, energy getting rid of energy so that this connection can happen 37 
When it's in the upright, you see cleaning house card and a reading. It's time to declutter your life, get rid of unwanted things in your physical home, and release what you no longer want or truly need. There's unfinished business that you should address. Thoughts, memories, and emotional baggage you must uh, sweep out of your house as well. Your conscience must be clear for you to move freely in the world. So you or them, I feel it's about cleaning up your energy, whether it's physical stuff in your home or in your energetic field. It's literally, we hear this all the time in tarot. We have to get rid of stuff to make space for the new. This is the new. It's the new. The only way I see this as a past returning, as it was something that there was a strong connection with you and a person in the past, didn't get off the ground. Most likely there was another person involved or because you guys work together. But it's like somebody wants to come back now to say what they wanted to say. So you might not work together no more or you, you could work together. But it's just saying that whatever they wanted to say or do in the past, they didn't do it. Now they want to. I don't feel that you've ever had a connection with this person because you or them were with other people. Now, 49. So this would be clearing space to make room for this to happen. Especially if someone leaves a situation, it literally could be a move and be saying, look, get rid of what you don't need because you're about to move. 49 here. Wisdom allows you to recognize traps on the road and familiar patterns that you want to avoid. It also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on your journey. It helps you to recognize your allies and know how to find the best routes along the way. Now you're in a place where you know the right thing to do and the best choice to make. You really can't make a mistake. Whatever your inquiry, great fortune awaits you, for you have the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. You've learned all your lessons and you've earned the right to your success. So that's what I got with this. I saw these cards. Meditate. Get your information. It's not over with you and this person by no means. You guys have lived many of lives together. You're going to, with your wisdom, you're going to see what's meant for you. And so is this person. And I feel that this is a connection. It's very highly spiritual. You are your own talisman. And the fact that your wisdom is your talisman. Your wisdom is your talisman. So, all right, Aquarius, I love you guys. I'll see you in your next reading. And namaste, my friends.